Hello everybody, I'm Andrea, AKA Miss Fackelman, and today I'm going to teach you all how to create soap sculptures. For those of you who are less familiar with this work of art, sculpture is a branch of the visual arts that operates in three dimensions. That's because soap sculpture has height, width, and depth. So for those of you who have heard of 3D, that means that something has height, width, and depth. If you hear that something is two-dimensional or 2D, that means it only has height and width. Sculpture can actually take up space and can be made out of almost any element like marble or metal or wood or more types of elements. It can also be mixed media, which is where you take multiple elements and bring them together. One type of sculpture that I'm going to teach you about that is similar to the type of artwork that we're going to be making today is a netsuki. A netsuki is a miniature sculpture originating from 17th century Japan. A netsuki was made in a time before people had pockets or clothing with pockets in Japan. Back then when people were wearing robes or kimonos that didn't have pockets, people needed to find a way to keep things from sliding from their belt. So people had these special pouches and the netsuki was a type of button fastener that anchored the pouch from slipping out of a person's belt or Half of netsukis have been made from ivory, while others have been made from porcelain, clay, metal, and other types of materials. And netsukis today can be worth anywhere from a few hundred dollars to thousands of dollars. For those of you in my sixth grade class who are doing this project, you are going to be choosing an object from a Bible story, or a religious symbol well, that you are going to carve out of soap. However, if you're one of my viewers who isn't physically in one of my classes, you can carve just about anything from your soap bar. You are all going to need a sheet of paper, a pencil, a pencil sharpener and eraser, a bar of soap and a pair of scissors, a plastic knife, a paper clip, a wooden pick for carving. If you don't have a wooden pick, the pencil will work just fine and you'll need a paintbrush. So let's find a nice comfortable place to work and get started. First, you need to take your soap, lay it on the piece of paper and use your pencil to trace the shape and size of the soap. Then you're going to take your pencil and sketch what it is you want to create for your soap. Make sure that you don't choose anything that's gonna be overly skinny, like a rose with a skinny stem or something that's very tiny and intricate because soap is very brittle. Now, what you're gonna do is cut out what it is you wanna make from your soap. Before you start carving, please take the end of your paper clip and use it to smooth out any logos or words that might still be on the side of your soap. So that way it'll be easier to make whatever design it is without any remains of what used to be on your soap. Now take the cutout design of what you want for your soap and use your pencil or your wooden pick to carve the outline of what you want. You are later going to use your plastic knife to cut away any pieces or big chunks of the soap that you wanna get rid of so you can start creating your sculpture. One thing I keep telling my students to be careful of is to keep their fingers or any part of their bodies away from the direction that you're cutting in. One time I was sleepy and I made the mistake of putting my hand in the way of the knife I was using for an art project. I wound up getting four stitches. Mind you, this was not a plastic knife. It was a metal linoleum carving tool, but still you do not want to give yourself a cut. So while you're cutting away the big chunks for your soap sculptures, make sure your fingers are out of the way. Once you have cut away all the bigger chunks of soap, you will use the paper clip, the loopy end, that is to start smoothing away the edges and taking away some smaller pieces. One thing I really like about the paper clip is that it really helps give your sculpture a nice and smooth look. That's something that can help with those little areas that might look a little 
chunky. Keep in mind, this is going to take some time smoothing away the edges and getting it the shape that you want. Don't worry if it's gonna take a while because in the end, it will look great. And if there are any mistakes, you might wanna make sure that you have a spare bar of soap nearby. To clear away some of these soap shavings, grab your paintbrush and use that to dust it off. Next, use your wooden pick or your pencil to start carving any details that you might want. I was doing a Celtic cross of sorts, but I've since learned that with Celtic crosses, the circle or the halo is on the back of the cross and not the front. But what I did was I carved the ring that I wanted on my cross, and to make it look more three-dimensional like it was popping out, I started to remove the parts of the cross that were right around the ring so that way it looked like the ring was raised and on top. Don't be afraid to go back and forth with using the wooden pick or pencil and the paper clip. Occasionally you might want to use your plastic knife again. Just take your time carving the details you want and then using your paper clip to take away anything that you want. Once you have the form that you want for your soap sculpture, you can use your wooden pick or your pencil to carve any designs that you want to make your sculpture look a little fancier or just give it some extra detail. Great job everybody, if you're new to my channel, please click subscribe below so you can get notified whenever I put up a new video on Art with Andrea. If you want to say what you liked about this video or what you think I should do next, leave a comment below. And above all else, everybody have a great day, stay creative, and I'll see you all next time.